hand-built Namibia by craftsman Dan Craven, takes all of his professional knowledge from racing in the pro peloton for over a decade, takes it back home to Namibia and creates this masterpiece of a bike. Hey, what's up? Chaz here. We're in Portland, Oregon, and we're going to check out the Made Bicycle Show. Specifically, we're going to check out Dan Craven's bike brand on Guza at the Made Bicycle Show. They're handmade in Namibia. Dan is a multiple time Olympian, pro tour rider, who now goes back to his home country of Namibia to build steel bikes. So let's go find Dan and Anaguza Bikes and see what makes them faster. Oh, Dan yeah. from Nam here yeah, from in Nam. Portland at the Maid Bike Show. Uh, I have traveled from the bottom of Africa, from Namibia, all the way to the West Coast, because this is where it's at. This, this is. is like the biggest, the best handmade bike show. Thanks, Dan. Well, wait, you, you did a little tour, right? This wasn't the first stop. You hit a number of other cities. You've been out here for a little bit, spreading was, the good word. It wasn't really little. It was, it was kind of big. <laughs> Landed in New York, yeah. did a charity ride that raised more than twelve million dollars. Wait, million, million dollars? Twelve million. million dollars. All right, not a bad start to the tour. Those guys <laughs> were amazing. I snuck away with the gravel, one of the pre-production gravel bikes for the Onagoza bikes, and this is not necessarily the one that they're producing right now, but they have done through so many iterations of this that this is basically the production model. I want to do a quick run through of this fantastic machine. Obviously, hand mitered, hand welded steel tubes built in Namibia by the finest craftsmen. Obviously, we've got the Zip 303 Firecrest for the wheel. And that is the epitome of speed for this. It's a fast wheel, it's light, but it's super strong, can handle any of the roads you throw at it. It's got a nice wide rim bed. It's got these Ultra Dynamico by 700 by 42 C tires that I got some calipers out and measured almost 700 by 45 because the wide rim bed spreads the tires out. That hookless technology gives you a super supple ride condition, helps eliminate flats, keeps more rubber to the road. Shifting wise, keeping it simple, we've got the one by four screw. Looks like the Explorer set up right now, so they're running a 10 by 44 cassette and a 40 tooth front chain ring. I am from the bottom of Africa, Namibia, right next to South Africa, ex-professional cyclist. I've done professional races in more than 40 countries around the world, and the more I traveled, the more I realized where I came from was really, really special. And all of the people back home they're just really good with their hands. You know, some people can, and some people just, they kind of fall over themselves. <laughs> so there's a lot of bikes here, and there's one that really stands out. What is the inspiration besides the paint job? It's not only on one bike, it's kind of a theme with exactly. on visit bikes. What, what's up with it? Well, most people, if you think of Namibia, if you even know of Namibia, people think of the sand dunes, the diamond mines, elephants, rhinos, you name it. But I'm someone who lives there and I love the people and the culture. And that's really what we want to celebrate because without them, this bike wouldn't exist. The brand wouldn't exist. So in Namibia, there's not really too much that's more important than a cow. That's why we've got ourselves- Why is the cow important? I mean, cow. for me, I mean, I think for a lot of Americans in Western cultures, the cow's like, it's like hamburgers and, and milk and like, it's important, but why is it, why is it nothing more important in Namibia than a cow? Well, traditionally, cows are wealth. So the more cows you have, the more it's a sign of wealth. It's not the fancy flashy cars, it's the cows. The tubes, they get mitered, which means they get cut with a hacksaw and filed until they fit absolutely perfectly together. Here we go. Now take a look at this. This is hand done. This is cut with a hacksaw and files. And look how that fits on there. Look at this. This is where the dropout slots in. So this piece, it goes right there, like that. And again, look at these perfect angle slots. That's basically four cuts. This thing is cut with a hacksaw and a file. I mean, I can't do that, but my guys back in Namibia do it every time spot on. And it's just like, 
that's how good they are. All right, we just got hanging out at Made Bikes with Dan Craven and checking out his bike brand on Guza, handmade in Namibia. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to check out Dan and Onaguza Bikes. For now, this is Chaz and Dan in there making you faster.